Hello fellow fiends, it's me, I'm back. And I'm here today with a video where I show you every single fucking book I read last year. And you're gonna watch it and you're gonna love it. Okay? Okay. So first, because my brain is dumb. I'm always forgetting shit that is just like not physically in front of me. So I wrote down a handy list full of the books that I read that I don't have physical copies of. So these are books that I had that were eBooks, audiobooks, books that I borrowed, books that came from the library, etc. I think that's it actually. So to start with, we have Full Moon by Jim Butcher, Our Violin Ends by Chloe Gong, Cultish by Amanda Montel, Dark Stars, which was an anthology edited by John T. Taff, and Drama to Strain by Michael Crichton, Grave Peril by Jim Butcher, Trailed by Catherine Miles, The Candy House by Jennifer Egan, The Resting Place by Camilla Sten, Basketful of Heads by Joe Hill, Night of the Dragon by Julie Kagawa, The Perfect Father by John Glatt, The Last Days of the Dinosaurs by Riley Black, Manual for Survival by Kate Brown, August Kitko and the Mechas from Space by Alex White, The Great Hunt by Robert Jordan, The Last to Vanish by Megan Miranda, Suburban Hell by Maureen Kilmer, I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. And finally, Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. Now on to all the physical things that I read. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. These are in no particular order, just the order from which they became stacked after I took them off my bookshelf. So first here is The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova, Shiver by Junji Ito, The Ghost That Ate Us by Daniel Krauss, Palmetto by Anya Alborn, Stargazers by L.P. Hernandez, Hashtag Thigh Gap by Chandler Morrison, Lupe by Jean Thompson, Crawl Space by Herbert Lieberman. I read the Castile Family series by V.C. Andrews, so that is Heaven, Dark Angel, Fallen Hearts, and Gates of Paradise. Here they are. The Plants by Kenneth McKenney, Slumber Party by Christopher Pike, Stay Out of the Basement by R.L. Stein, Different Seasons by Stephen King, Kenobi by John Jackson Miller, Skeleton Crew by Stephen King, The School by Ed Kelleher and Harriet Vidal, and The Conqueror Worms by Brian Keane. I read Gwen in Green by Hugh Zachary. Ooh, it's raining. Uh, I read Uzumaki by Junji Ito. I read Aragon and Eldest by Christopher Paolini. The Paul Bearers Club by Paul Tremblay, The Turnout by Megan Abbott, The Whisper Man by Alex North, Walkers by Graham Masterton. I read Crescent City and, oh no, House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath, most disgusting fucking title I've ever heard in my life. Um, these are both by Sarah J. Moss. I read Hidden Pictures by Jason Rekalak, Wanderers by Chuck Wendig, Hero the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, Fairest Flesh by K.P. Kolsky, The Toll by Cherie Priest, The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy by Megan Bannon. I read volumes one, two, three, and four of Blood on the Tracks by Shuzo Oshimi. I read The Alice Six by Olive Blake, The Rise and the Fall of the Dinosaurs by Steve Brissati, The Book of Night by Holly Black, Inspection by Josh Mallerman, Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey, Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelus, Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, a Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. I read the last two books in the Miriam Black series, so that is Thunderbird and The Raptor in the Wren by Chuck Wendig. Wow, that rain is so fucking loud. I love it. It's been raining for like three weeks. It's crazy. I fucking love it. I read Such a Pretty Smile by Christy Demeester, The Deep by Alma Katsu, and The Fervor by Almakatsu, Nightly Disease by Max Booth III, The Between by Tanana Reeve Dew, Near the Bone by Christina Henry, Benny Rose The Cannibal King by Haley Piper, I read Shadow Vista by Charles Kolya and Mark Steensland, Stolen Tongues by Felix Blackwell, The Ward by S.L. Gray, The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa, Anybody Home by Michael J. Sadlinger, can you guys even hear me? It's raining. 
A Cold Place for Dying by Christopher Triana, Road of Bones by Christopher Golden, Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes. There is a lot of S and A's in this list. The Tents by Keelan Patrick Burke. And then I read three novellas by Erica Rocca this year. This one is kind of a stand-in for Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke in Other Stories, which um, has this novella in it, but also two separate stories. I also read We Can Never Leave This Place and They Were Here Before Us. All so fucking excellent. I read The Reception by Kenzie Jennings, Black Tide by Casey Jones. I read Sundial by Catriona Ward, Getaway by Zoya Stage, Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan, Night Bitch by Rachel Yoder, Hide by Kirsten White, The Long Shadow of Small Ghosts by Laura Tillman, What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher, Fable by Adrian Young, then I read These Three by Maggie Stiefvater, The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, and Blue Lily, Lily Blue, The Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson, American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis, Black Top Wasteland by S.A. Cosby, Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff, Crier's War by Nina Varela. I think that was like technically the first book I read last year. I read Waif by Samantha Quilesnik, Black Mouth by Ronald Malfi, Primal Animals by Julia Lynn Rubin, The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, Unmasked by Paul Holes, Below by Laurel Hightower, Unspeakable Acts by Sarah Weinman, and last but not least, And Then I Woke Up by Malcolm Devlin. So those are, I think, the 115 books I read this year. That's fucking all of them. I'd love to know if there are any here that you really loved, any that you really felt strongly the other way about. Take a look at my link tree thing for all of my referral codes, um, my rep code for Twisted Retreat, which is a horror book box. I've got links to all my social media there. All the things that you need to find me um, are there. So take a look at that. Otherwise, that's all I have for you for now. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.